Hello everyone, Mr. Jones from North American Martial Arts here with Mr. Browning. Uh, coming to you guys with our class number eight. We're gonna get our warm up going. So guys, follow along with us. Here we go, should be in position. Chair your can. All right guys, Mr. Browning's gonna take us through the warm up. Why don't we start with our hands and feet together. We're going to burn out some jumping jacks. 15 of them, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Feet out wide. Hands at your hips. Let's burn out a couple squats. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. 10 and hold. 10 hold. If you hold it there, how long can you keep it there? 10 more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Shake your legs out just a little bit. Feet together. Let's reach for our toes. Stretch out just a little bit. We'll do one more exercise. Lean back. Put one foot over the other foot. Use that balance, reach for your toes again. Stand back up, switch. And stand back up. We're gonna do one last exercise up and down push-up position. We're going to burn out some push-ups. I want you to do as many push-ups as you can. Once you're done, you can't do any more. You're gonna hold the plank position just like this. I'm doing my push-ups, I can't do any more. I hold it right here until I tell you to stop. Let's try that. As many push-ups as you can do until I tell you to stop. Ready, go. Five, four, three, two, one time. Everyone stand up. Let's do a standing hamstring stretch. You can put one foot out in front, bend your back knee, lean forward just a little bit. Switch, other side. Take one arm across. Other arm. And time, once you're done, you're warmed up. Stretch. Okay guys, we are back. We are gonna do rope kicks. Parents, you will need a rope for this. I'm gonna show you how you can do it without a rope. Without a rope, parents, basically what you would do is you would hold a blocker pool noodle and they can just kick over top of it. So parents, the, the rope is just a little bit easier to use. But if you don't have a rope, um, again, you can just you use a blocker and you can still increase or decrease their height. Parents, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on kicking technique, challenging their height by adding a rope for them to kick over, okay? Now guys, I got it tied off to our Wave Master. Parents, you can use a, a door handle or something that you're gonna be able to put a little bit of tension on and it's not gonna tip over, okay? So don't tie it off to anything that if you pulled on a little bit, it would tip over. So Mrs. Brennan's gonna stand behind the rope and we're gonna drop it down a little bit to start. Okay, parents, I would recommend you start about waist high and build from there. Okay, so we're going to be in a fighting stance. So <clears throat> Mr. Bruning is going to move a little closer to the rope. He's going to put his kicking side closest to the rope, and he's going to be doing a side kick. Parents, the closer they are to the rope, the better this will be. It really forces them to chamber high. So let's try a couple side kicks, sir. Let's go ahead and chamber, kick, and down. See how he has to get that nice, good chamber. And now my parents, they must re-chamber too. Go ahead and do a kick. If he doesn't re-chamber and it falls, he's obviously gonna hit the rope. Parents have some fun with it. You know, if they bump the rope, you can tell them they gotta do, uh, you know, three push-ups when the drill's over, okay? Let's do a couple more. Good, okay, parents gonna wanna make sure you do both sides. Go ahead and do a couple on the other side. Chamber, kick, and down. One more, sir. 
All right, parents, so there is the sidekick. Now, parents, uh, I would recommend you do about five on each leg, and if that, if you feel like it's too easy or too low, go ahead and increase your rope height, adjust it up a little bit, and force them to kick higher over that rope. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and do that about uh, a couple sets of five on each leg. Roundhouse? I'm assuming you can do that one a little higher. about there. Okay guys, we're back. I want to demonstrate a roundhouse kick on the rope drill. So he's got, again, kicking leg closest to the rope. He's going to chamber, kick over the rope, and set it down. Let's do another one. And one more. Let's switch to the other side. Ready, go. And again, go. One more, go. Okay, guys, awesome. So that is for the roundhouse kick. Now, parents, you can have some fun with the roundhouse kick. Again, increase the height as you see fit. But parents, you can also have them do multiple kicks, do more advanced kicks, kick under and over. So I'm going to show you a couple ways for advanced students that you can step it up. Okay, so he's in this fighting stand. This time, Mr. Brennan, I want you to do three kicks over the rope without setting the foot down. Ready, go. One, two, three. Nice. Okay, Mr. Brennan, now I want you to do three kicks alternating below and above the rope. Alternating below and above. One, two, three. And parents, you can increase that number. Have them go up to five, up to 10 if they got really, really good balance. Another kick you can do over the rope, parents, is a hook kick. So we can practice this hook kick over the rope. You can combo that too. So now I want you to do a round hook kick, sir. Round, hook, okay. Now a hook round kick, you can hook round kick. Hook, round, okay, sir. Last one, let's pop out five roundhouse kicks above the rope. Five roundhouse kicks. One. Two, three, four, five. Awesome. Okay, so parents, that's the way you can step it up for your advanced students. You can even have them try jump kicks, something like that. Parents, if they're hitting the rope a lot, make an adjustment. You either need to lower it or switch to a different kick. We don't want them kicking the rope every single time. If they're kicking it every time, we need to make adjustments. Again, parents, start belt high. Increase the height, you know, as they go, or if they're more advanced, more flexible, and they can kick higher. So there are your rope kicks. You guys go ahead and pause the video and do a few more sets of those. Okay, guys, we're back. We're going to do another uh, self-defense based punching drill. Let's do it. Follow along with us from your fighting stance. Here we go. We're going to do it slow a couple times. Jab is first. Reverse punch. Left hook. Reverse punch. Okay, let's do that again, and then we're gonna add a couple more moves. Ready, jab, cross, hook, cross. From here, students, we're gonna go back to our fighting stance. We're gonna lean back just a little bit, like we're, like we're uh, getting kicked at or punched at. We wanna not get hit, and then we're gonna come back in with one more cross. So we're gonna rock that weight back just a bit, and cross. Now, students, don't get carried away. Don't go way back like you're in the matrix, okay? Just a little lean back is all you need. Let's do the whole thing, right? Jet, cross, hook, cross, lean back, cross. One more time, ready, go. Jet, cross, hook, cross, lean back, cross. One more time, guys. Here we go. Ready? Jab. Cross. Hook. Cross. Lean back. Cross. All right, guys. Pause the video. Practice that. Uh, let's do about five repetitions of about three sets. I didn't punch your order. Was that? I didn't punch your order. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. okay. So, single pad. Let's practice it one time. Jab. Cross. Hook. All right, parents, if you happen to have a pad at home, hand target blocker, I'm gonna show you how you can do that striking combo on the pad. Now, I'm just using one. Parents, if you happen to have two hand targets, you can definitely use both, but I'm gonna show you with just one. Mr. Brunning's gonna be in a fighting stance, okay? He's going to do his punch, all right, his jab, reverse, hook, gotta turn the pad, cross. I'm gonna swipe, he's gotta lean back, and he finishes with that cross. All right, let's do that again. One, two, three, Two, lean back, and cross. One more time. Ready to go. Jab, cross, hook, cross, lean back, 
straws, okay? So guys, if you have a target to use at home, you can definitely do it on the target. Uh, parents, if you have a bag at home, this is a great one to practice on the bag as well, okay? Good work, guys. Pause the video and do a couple more sets. Thank you for watching. Okay, guys, we're back. Kicking tips, jump back kick, all right? Previous video, we did the two-step back kick. This is gonna be the J Jury, the jump back kick, okay? Now, students, you wanna make sure your regular good old back kick is down really good. If that is not down good, you're gonna to wanna to skip this or practice it later on once you've practiced your back kick. So, guys, good way to practice first is to practice just jumping, right? Jumping, lifting those knees up. As always. Now what you guys want to do is practice jumping and turning towards your back leg. Jump and turn. Watch again. I'm going to jump and turn to my back leg. Okay? Next level would be to jump and chamber. I'm going to chamber my back leg. That's what I'm going to kick with. Jump and chamber. So I'm just getting it ready. One more. Jump. Chamber. Final step would be to let it all rip. Jump, turn, chamber, kick. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Again. Yeah. Okay. Students, don't worry about getting super high. If you are, that's great. But if this is new for you, just get a little bit of a jump. I'm gonna bring in Mr. Brunning to demonstrate a couple. Jump back kicks. Bang, nice, nice high jump. Sir, one more. Good job, guys. Okay, so there's your jump back kick. Students, as you get better at it, be sure to work on tucking your leg that does not kick. We wanna to try to tuck that up just like we would on our side kick. Okay, so we get a nice high kick. All right, so there is your jump back kick tips. Thank you for watching. So make sure for these moves with the ball step, we have a lot of room. You might even want to go outside if you can. These moves, if we drop it, the bow staff's gonna go flying, and that's not gonna be good, so make sure you have a lot of room around you. So, we are going to be working on the behind the back handoffs. We've got two variations of this. I'm gonna start with the horizontal version, where the bow is just like this, level with the floor. So, how we're going to do this motion, we're gonna grab it in our strong hand. You can do it in your left hand first. I like to start in my strong hand. We hold it up just like this, so it's level with the floor. We are going to spin it behind our back, just like this. We're going to rotate it, bring it behind your back, right here. Back out one more time. Rotate the bow behind the back, right here. Now, I'm going to hand it off to the other hand. I'll show you what I'm doing in just a minute, and it's going to be on this side. Here, here. Now, I'm going to show you how I'm actually handing it off. You have to do it in a specific way. So, we spin the bow behind our back. Our thumb is pointing towards the inside, the other thumb. We're going to bring this hand back. Thumbs facing each other, they don't even be touching each other. But make sure the thumbs are facing each other. You're going to grab it in the other hand, and you're going to let go of the hand that was just grabbing the bow. You're going to spin it out right here until it's level with the floor. Now we're going to spin it back, just like this. Thumb to thumb, here. Back. And keep switching over and over. You can speed that up, make sure you don't drop it. Now, the next variation of it, which we do it or, or uh, vertical, where your bow is up and down just like this. This one's a little bit more tricky, make sure you don't hit yourself on the back of the head. You can lean, even lean forward just a little bit to not bonk yourself on the back of the head. So we have the bow right here. We spin it back just like this, but we bring the bow up right here. We're going to grab it and back out. Here, here. Thumb to thumb again, but the bow's going to be up and down. Here to here. One, two, three, four. Just like that, and keep going back and forth, spinning it up and down. The bow should be up and down when it's going behind your back. Thumb to thumb, out, back. Practice that one just a little bit. One more time. We have the horizontal version and we have the vertical version. Just like that. Practice those just a little bit and then we're going to add another motion to it. So we're back. Now that you've practiced those two motions just a little bit, we can add something to it. These motions are some of the best motions. This motion right here is my favorite bow staff spin ever. 
because you can go from here to almost any other motion. So I'm going to show you a couple of variations and you can practice whatever one you uh, want to do. Make sure you have a lot of room because some of these are going to probably drop it a couple times. So I'm going to start in the horizontal version. I'm going to spin it behind my back just like this. Actually, I'm going to go from my left side this way. Spin it around and if you know how to do the handle, you can add that right there. So we grab it just like this, spin it behind our back, out, handle, back right here. One, two, just like that. Try one more time here, here. Another thing you could add to it is a butterfly spin. So if you know how to do a butterfly spin, grab it right here, spin, butterfly spin. It's in the other hand and I can go behind my back again. Butterfly spin, behind my back, and keep it spinning. If you don't know how to do a butterfly spin, I want you to stick with the hand roll version. And the last version, this one, you will need to go outside. There's no practicing this one inside. You have to go outside if you're going to do this one. It is the release. So it would be behind the back, just like this. Spin it out, throw the bow staff, and catch it. If you know how to, you have to know how to do a release to do this one, and you have to be outside. Make sure you don't do it inside or you will hit the roof and maybe poke a hole in it. That's not good. So, chimpy position, practice those moves just a little bit, add some variation to it, 